And now for the news. The planet Mars has exploded. Martian spaceships are heading toward Earth. We can hear them inside their ships. We're here in Washington, where the spaceships are now landing. The Martians are marching out of the first spaceship. The president is about to speak to the Martian leader. Cookie, cookie, lend me your comb. The president has angered the Martians because they have no hair. Wait, they've grabbed the president. We can hear him now. Turn me loose. Turn me loose, I'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, the Martian leader is threatening the president. Give me the deed to your ranch, I'll blow you all to bits. We return you now to our studios. Here is a bulletin. The government has decided if the Martians are to remain on Earth, they must go to school. We now hear the Martians greeting their teacher. Hey, lump of sugar, you look kind of sweet. Good morning, class. Did everybody do their homework? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Now, what did Columbus say when he landed in America? Going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. That's right. Now, tell us about the Queen of England. Well, she dances to the pop. She dances to the stroll. And what did Lincoln say at Gettysburg? Why must I be a teenager in love? The Martians have passed their lessons, and they are now singing their graduation song. Water However, the Martians have decided to leave Earth and go to the moon. And there they go, marching back to their spaceship. It looks like the leader of the Martians has one last word to the president. Baby, you're the ginchiest. <laughs>